Hello and welcome to Star Trek Infinite. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. For those new to this genre of game, it can seem intimidating. So I'll be kicking off a series of explanation videos to help you on your Star Trek Infinite journey. In this video, we are going to review the basic user interface. Now there's a lot to dive into here, so we're going to keep this high level to get you familiar with the overall user interface. Let's start here in the top left where we see Mission Tree. If you click on Mission Tree, this is unique. So for those of you used to Solaris, this is, I believe, new. Although I have not played Solaris in a few years now. In the Mission Tree, depending on the faction you have, this is going to guide your journey, where you can work towards different things which will unlock and uh, unlock different things on your journey here, uh, which will be important. So as a Federation, we can work towards gaining alloys so we can eventually build the Enterprise, uh, etc. So make sure you're referring to the mission tree so you can further your uh, journey within Star Trek Infinite. Now there are branching paths here. So you'll see here there are decisions that are going to lock you out of different branches. right? And this is what will provide some additional replay to the game. So that is the mission tree. Starting up here in the top, top left, we have the government panel. Here we can see our government, we can see modifiers, relationships with other factions, and some general demographics, which will evolve as we expand our empire. Moving over to the right, we have our resources. So you can hover over each one to see the different resources, depending on the faction you're playing, uh, which will be important. If we actually left click on this bar, that is how we open up the market. So we can trade resources if we're running short on something and have a surplus of something else. So again, that's a left click to open up the market. Underneath here, we have import information, including empire stability, spread, which will influence our bureaucracy, and administrative ability, which we'll have to expand as our empire expands. We have a certain number of envoys to send to interact uh, with other factions. Our empire population, what it consists of, which will have impact uh, in various ways, as well as our officers, which will determine our military might and how many military ships we can have it deployed. In the top right here, this is one of the most important sections of the game because we can pause, um, accelerate time as we set our orders. For those interested, if you actually click spacebar, that'll pause time or start time quickly and then here you can use the plus and minus keys on your keyboard or clicking here to see how fast time moves over here to the right is the main menu if you left click on this this is how you save games change your settings or exit you can also use the escape key to do so um, over here we actually can impact the music so you can select your music and you can actually open up the music player if there are things you like or don't like so keep that in mind this one is actually pretty helpful. Hotkey F or left clicking here, you can search for known star systems. So this can be very, very helpful if you're looking for a star system um, or I believe it also works on planets. So let's give this a, a go. So if we do, well, most planets are called by their star systems. So actually that shouldn't be too much of a, an issue there. Outliner, this is something that I really like. So if you left click this button here or click O, it's gonna open the outliner, which allows you to see all your planets, your shipyards, your star bases, your fleets and civilian ships, which include colony, science and spy ships, as well as construction ships. This will get kind of unwieldy at times. So make sure you take advantage of the outliner options um, here by left clicking on the options or if you want a specific area you want to jump to, you can. So keep that in mind. And you can just directly left click on anything to select it, right? So if we want to head over to our spy ship, double click on that and it'll take you over there to it, which is very helpful. In the bottom right, if you left click on this, this will give the galactic, galactic tension meter. Uh, so keep that in mind uh, as tensions increase, hostilities, uh, will um, come out and then you're also going to see the tension um, between us and other uh, factions or what's driving that. We can also see our empire score. Uh, this is actually very very helpful. Uh, so just keep this in mind to see where we kind of fit 
in the game. And you'll see here, I still have some tool tips on because I'm still learning the game even though I've played a decent amount since release. Now, moving down here in the bottom, this is how we go to our galaxy map, M and E uh, on mouse and keyboard respectively, uh, which are helpful. So keep that in mind. And here we can change different things. So if we want to do exploitation map mode where we want to see resources easily, click that on. If you want to see expansion mode, click that on. So expansion mode will be very helpful when you're trying to figure out where to colonize planets. Uh, again, galaxy map, you zoom into a galaxy or out. You use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. Um, you can use exploration mode, um, which will display more information uh, on different potential, I believe, um, uh, areas that you're going to want to explore. Uh, and I think this might be more relevant uh, in the system. And then military map mode, where if we want to see our military might and any known military might we might have gained, uh, so we can reference that. Here we can do claims mode. You want to click this if you want to claim or have a, a create a Cosabella. Uh, so effectively claims and expanding your territory gets a little complicated. We might post other videos on that if helpful later on. Be sure to let me know in the comments. And then trade routes, we can uh, establish trade, uh, which will be helpful. All right, over here in the bottom left here, whenever we click on a ship, uh, planets will open up but or a station on the left side it will open up more options so for example we have our spy ship or actually let's do a construction ship right uh, we can build different things which will be helpful so when you have something selected just look at the bottom left each ship will have different things it can do or build or spy etc and we can post potential videos on that if helpful moving away down here, we have our quick hit on our construction ship. If we lose track of it, we can just double click on it and it'll take us right to it. And then our home planet, which is always important. You're going to want to make sure that you build your home planet depending on what you're going for. Pay close attention to it. It is your most important planet. Moving up here, we have all of these things. This is our probably most useful panel to quickly open different things. Um, we can also open the market. Like I said, you can left click up here to open the market, which is nice. But going down, we can look at our victory conditions or where we are um, in the galactic tension and empire score, right? We can look at our mission log, which will tell us what to do, especially having the tutorial on. Our contacts, which is diplomacy. Um, as that states, market, planet management, expansion planner, edicts and policies, traditions, ship designer, fleet management technologies, species, and leaders. This is going to be one of your most heavily utilized um, pieces of the UI um, or in the UI because you're going to be referencing this here. So that is a basic explanation of the UI with a few commanding controls to get you started. There's a lot more to this game. So let me know what would be helpful in the comments, and I hope to see you in future videos. Shadow Coast out.